Aduh, aduh. Oh. Ya. Hello guys, it's me Ken Julius. This is our news project. This is PCL104 Wilga 35A or just Wilga. There are many version of Wilga including this one. This is the old one and the modern one is Wilga 2000s and also Draco. Uh, this is a 1960s aircraft made in Poland. We also know this uh, in Indonesia as Galatik. Galatik is just literally uh, Indonesian name for Wilga, a name of bird. As you see on the first scene, uh, opening scene, this plane is fly very well, well balanced and very controllable, very stable, but it end up crash. Because it's my stupidity, I was I want to turn left to make a bigger circle, but uh, the nose is up a bit and it make it make the plane slower and more slower and then I should have turned left but I turn right and it's tall but with that accident I learned that this plane needs more bigger wing to make more lift and to make easier flying and also I make modification on this cow this is longer version than the crash one to make a motor and batteries more forward so it will not need a counterweight ballast anymore so it will be more lighter and bigger wing so the final version will be uh, we'll have a uh, better performance performance than this okay let's start building this plane you can download the plans on my website paper-replica.com there's a direct link on the description You can choose to print on A4 or A0 size paper. For decal, it's in A3 format. Trace the individual parts onto 5mm foam sheet. I am going to make a middle section of the main wing. Here, I curve the upper part by hitting it on a heat gun. Press and curve it on a metal pipe. The lower part is less curvy than the upper part, like this. Sanding the leading and trailing edge of the lower part, like this. Follow the steps to make the middle section of the wing. Mark the spar position just behind the spar to insert wing joiners. Make holes on both sides for inserting wing joiners. Just like the middle section, curve the foam for making two side wings.
and then combine the three sections of the wing. Add wing tips from styrofoam blocks by using a guide from plants. Cut ailerons by also using a guide from plants. Cut the edge of the aileron about 2 mm to give space from the wing for aileron free movement. And then remove the bottom side of the aileron about 5 mm and sand it like this. And use the cut aileron foam parts to fill and close the gap on the wing. Follow these steps to build the fuselage. We need to send the inner edge down so it will be on the same level as the outer edge. The nose is a bit crooked to the right and a bit tilted down. Leave it that way, it's on purpose. To give the motor down and right thrust angle. If you make it straight, the plane will be keep flying to the left and will crash on takeoff.
make score lines for easier bending for this part. Sand the inner edge but only the halfway down. Leave the other half like this. Add pieces of foam to reinforce the join between front fuselage and tail boom. Make sure the tail is straight. Sand this vertical step, leading edge only. Bend 3 mm wire according to the plans like this for making landing gear. Wrap the root with masking tape and glue to the plywood base. Tie the landing gear struts with small cable zip ties. Add another strut with smaller wire as a bracing strut. Also tie the bracing struts with cable zip ties. Use sewing thread and CA glue to tie landing gear struts with bracing struts. Install the main landing gear to the fuselage like this. Add foam layer on top of the landing gear base. And then add 10 mm foam to the wall and to the foam layer to secure the landing gear position. Add another foam layer inside this part to make it straight and level.
I use epoxy glue to glue the wire to plywood. After an hour, install the tail landing gear. Add these parts to make horizontal step mounting. I am ran out of packing tape, so I use oil paper again for covering. Smooth all sharp edges on the fuselage, main wing, and stabilizers with sandpaper before covering. I use masking tape as control surface hinges. Draw center lines on horizontal step as guide for attaching it to the tail. Make sure to peel off the cover on the surface which will be contacted with the mounting.
remove a portion of the wing on the middle trailing edge to finalize the wing. Fill the gap with foam and then patch the cover with masking tape. Add 10 mm foam on each fuselage walls to support the servo platform. Attach control horns on elevator and rudder. Make a hole for rudder push rod and add small plastic straw to guide the push rod wire. Make a Z-band on the end of the push rod wire and install the servo. I use Krustin terminal as a stopper for rudder push rod wire. Now installing elevator push rod and servo. I use 3 mm plywood for the wing mounting. Install two servos for aileron like this. Put the foam back to close the hole. Make a hole for ESC wires. In the end, I made the hole position much lower than this. Insert the ESC and pull the wires out like this. Use 30M ESC minimum for this setup. This is how to install the motor. 
but in the end I installed the motor much lower than this because the engine cowl didn't fit with this position. I use four Gibson screws to secure the wing. Add mica plastic to each holes to protect the foam. Finally, add control horn and push rods for ailerons. I use 0.3 mm mica plastic for engine cowl and use foam for its front part. Attach foam to the mica plastic like this, hanging in half. Carve the front part into rounded shape with cutter knife and then sand it smooth. You can see here the motor needs to be moved lower, so I did move it like this. Add 10 mm EVA foam around the motor so the engine cowl can have something to hang on. Apply PVA glue on foam surface evenly to protect it from paint. Paint with acrylic spray paint. Two layers of paint are enough. Apply decal. The decal file can be downloaded along with the plans. I use just a single small screw to hold the engine cowl like this. 
I add a piece of my kaya plastic to receive the screw. Use sewing thread with CA glue for wheel stopper. Mark CG position with screws, so it will be easy and quick to fill and find it. Cut the battery head door. Add 10 mm foam inside the nose to make a battery tray. Add two pieces of foam inside the battery hatch to prevent the door to fall inside. Also add two pieces of plastic on the door to lock the door on one side. Cover the edges of the door and the hatch with painted masking tape to preserve paper covering. Add a piece of mica plastic to the rear edge of the door for easier opening. There is no lock system, just using friction. You can see there are many AA batteries on a nose as ballast. You will not need it because if this is a prototype, there is no need for that on the final plans.
after removing 6 of 10 AA batteries for counterweight ballast and moving the CG point 1 cm to the back, she finally airborne.
I was flying the plane too slow on this turn, and the plane stalled. I don't know if this plane cannot handle the wind very well, she's easily affected by the wind, or maybe because I turn so tightly, bang too much and expose the wind to the wind. This field is long but narrow, so I need to turn the plane tightly. It's kite season. Many kids litter their kite thread everywhere on this field. It caught up and wind it up to the propeller three times. This thread is so sharp, like a sandpaper, it cut through the foam.
flex, that's the metal flex. I like this plane. I like to touch and go this wheel guard. Okay, this project is finished. Uh, the next project will be Bango 2. It's a trainer. A little bit different from uh, no, not a little bit. It's different from Bango 1 because the motor will be on top of the fuse last like Sky Arrow, but it's very simple for a beginner. And and there's more. Thank you for voting on which twin engine uh, plane that I will make. This is DC3 nose that I already made. It will has uh, 220 centimeters wingspan. Yeah, it's big, but uh, I use uh, three millimeters instead of five millimeters to save uh, weight and to make it as light as possible. I will not release this as parts anymore, so I will make this in between episodes. So every every episode, in the end, I will share the progress of this project. DC3. Okay guys, thank you for watching and if you like this video, consider to like, subscribe and share. Okay, see you on the next episode.